I have a question for you. You know, I've gone through a lot of things in my life. I really have. Um, in the last four years, well, the last two years and a half, my apartment burned down for a house fire. Um, uh, I found out that a friend of mine who I've been friends with for was basically using me the whole time. And, you know, he doesn't get it. Before, when I met him, I had a job for seven years. I worked my ass off. And then I had a mental breakdown and I needed to take a break. And I kept telling him, hey, I have my mental illness. I have a psychiatrist. I have to get my mind straight. You know, because I'm, I'm tired. I've been working really hard for seven years today. Just the work that we took on was too much. So I need to take a break. And he didn't listen to me. He chose to mess around with all these other people and then gets mad at me for doing what I told him to do. Nothing. I was like, Andrew, I'm sitting down watching TV. You know? And he gets up and he gets yells at me for that. I'm like, Andrew, I'm sitting here watching TV. I smoke and my weed. And, you know, he's messing with me. And I'm like, really? How is that possible? But he goes to sniff a line of coke. And then what? He gets on his cell phone and calls someone to talk shit about me. And then think I don't notice it. And I'm like, Andrew, who are you? And he works for a company named Simmons. You need to investigate the company Simmons. Because they're calling him to talk shit about me. And then what happens? He goes and literally, you can hear him. He gets on the phone and gets in the boat and then talks shit about me and then walks away. Now, Marion Duane, he let me move in, into the house because my stepmother turned off my cell phone. She, what she did with my T-Mobile account is that when I called my dad at the hospital to ask him about the account, she removed my first name. My name is Tremont Brown. She moved it to Ann Brown, turned off my cell phone, and then turned the contact over to herself. But the problem was my dad was in the hospital. He was incapacitated, meaning he was in a hospital bed, sick. So most likely she was transferring money to me, across me. And what she did was she transferred money, and then what she told my family verbatim was like, I'm already kicking Tremont out of the house right now and i'm like how well she turned off my phone october 13th that's when you guys stopped talking to me well you guys can find me anymore she turned off my phone october 13th and then guess what my dad is in the hospital that whole week she's telling me go to the hospital tell me go to the hospital tell me go to the hospital. people are calling texting my phone and they can't answer me because they're provisioning my phone on and off and on and i couldn't figure it out and when i finally figured out it was when she i came home one day i went to jewel she curses me out she says, you're weird, get out, you're weird, you're weird. I'm like, huh? You hear that tardy for the party? That was her and me in the bathroom doing a tardy for the party. I'm like, how the hell am I, um, I'm in problem. I just, I'm resting. I'm like going back for checking on my brain, I have a possible brain injury from uh, people messing with me, you know, for so long that I'm tired. She's like, no, I don't want you here. And then she says, oh, I'm going to cremate your dad. It's like, what you mean cremate my dad? My dad's not even dead yet. Is he or not? Because that's, that's how, that's how in a touch I was with the situation. I'm like, he's not dead, he's alive. I hadn't gripped that my dad had died yet. And then what she do? She goes and changes the locks on the house, changes the actual locks on my dad's house, and then kicks me out. I had to call the police to let me back in. And what do they kick me out? They said, no, you don't live here. I show them my phone with text messages showing that she moved me into the house, my dad moved me in, and I'm homeless. They said, get the fuck out of here. You need to go go. I don't give a shit where your stuff goes. They put my stuff on a train. They're going to say, well, I don't care. Where do you go? You can put yourself on a train. I'm like, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? They said, we don't care. You need to go. So that's what the military did. That's what the police department did. I called three different police departments. They did the same thing. We don't care. They said, common law wife. No, it's not common law wife when your military servants vet cuts off their children. She cut out all the dependents and then took all the paperwork from my house. I've tried to get mail from her. She refused to give it to me. And yet, I'm like, why are you hiding? What are you taking from my dad? When I say my dad's in the military, he served honorably. She's discerning him by allowing her to go through his account. The fact that she has his phone, she can transfer money to, his, to her account in Thailand and then flee. The problem is she's on a work visa. It expired years ago. So she has no citizenship here. None. None whatsoever. So what she did, she broke the law. And here's the way her. She logs into my dad's USA account. Logs into my dad's account and removes my name. And puts Anthony Chemical on the USA account. Mind you, she's not a member. She has no reason. All she just changed the name. And then what? She submitted the birth death certificate and signed it herself. How do you submit a death certificate? And it was funny, I don't even have a copy of it. I had to ask somebody to send me a photocopy of it. Like, how do you have all this information? I don't have shit. I'm his front son. I, he raised me for 34 years. 35 years. My dad raised me. She wasn't a part of that. So where the fuck did she get out over my shit? And then you guys did that. You told her to kick me out. You told her to do that. And then you told Andrew to do it. So what you do when I'm in the house, what happens is I'm, I'm out having a good time. I come inside and you guys gaslight it. And then she gets mad. Then she goes, date. And then here, on the, if you look at the security cameras from that day, you see the three officers talking to me on the camera, on the camera about me having autism and like saying, I've been talking to God above me, like trying to figure out what's going on with my life. And then she sits in the car right there. The guy walks out of the car, goes to the house and doesn't know lock. He says, hey, what's the key to lock? She, oh, it's that key, that key. And then you see my little brother like, I think it's that key. Meaning, yeah, and then like, and then here, the day be days before, those white orbs showed up above the house. That's why you see those videos. They showed up the house to confirm who I am. That was an alien. She got fucking spooked. She changed her mind. 
And then there's you no, know, I don't know, I don't know, he will, get out here, will. I don't know why, I don't know, I, li I don't like Chase's son. He gay, I don't need him going, I'm going, I got another son in Thailand I don't talk to. He in military, I don't like him, but I don't care, I don't care, let him go, let him go. He, what he gonna do? He gonna get a lawyer? Why, who care? I have Chase's money, I can go. I'm his husband, I'm his wife, I can do what the hell I want to. I don't like Trima, I got all Chase's money, I got all her bank account. I changed everything into my name, they don't know, military don't know, they don't call me, they call me every day, but I don't answer Tracy phone, I answer my phone, my phone's the other number. Isn't that messed up? I gave my life to the United States Ghost Guard, and they gave my all my my dad's career to her. Here's the thing: she does not pay taxes here. She does not pay taxes. She doesn't also know how to pay to do all his uh information, DD two, whatever information he needs to do every single day for his medical help or whatever. She can't do it. She can't file the papers if she signs it's legal. But because she has my dad's phone, she submitted confirm by herself. Meaning in my dad's hospital bed, she was confirming all the account changes herself, and then she's hiding it. And then she calls my uncle Nico. I friended my uncle Nico Parker on my uh, snap or on my Twitter to see, and he's like, "Cause you're weird." No, because you also here's the thing. She told my her my uncle and my um aunt say, "Oh, she paid Nico money. She paid Nico money to shut up about what she did to me." Weird that she has to pay somebody my dad's money to keep me quiet. So I told the bitch, "I'm gonna keep annoying you, and I have the government keep annoying you, so you can investigate that account because my dad built everything to get to me to take care of my life. Now I'm stuck with Andrew, who used me four years, two, three years ago in the apartment and built." I said, Andrew, help me find an apartment. What he does, he finds the apartment, puts in his name, forges my records, and then what? Can't pay for the apartment. Andrew got his first job, his first actual job before the first the bill apartment he lived in with me or lived by himself. For that whole year, he had a job and doing all this dumb shit. I'm getting in trouble for his dumb shit. So you guys need to learn who you are because I told you, I'm an alien from space. I'm an actual extra. I'm a highly intelligent being. And you guys fucked me over. So I called an alien species to, to either eradicate you or start abducting you. Pick one. I'm not the one. I told you, you guys let Trump run an office for four years. We lived on Obamacare. Four years we didn't know there. Trump got our, our transgender laws and I died. Why would you mess transgender laws? Because they mess with God, I meaning mess with people. I mean, they, all they want to do is keep transgenders from having a child because they don't want to say, oh, 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 oh you, you're transgender, you have a kid? Uh, uh, that's going to mess up our society. Uh, no, it's not. You're too busy what people do with their money because you realize that you, you want their money, but you realize you kicked out the trans and all you guys are looking for are hot deals. They're gone. You kick this out. Get it together.